see it on all of them right now. Let me know when you guys are, are getting the feed. Yeah, I see it. You see it? All right, let me go ahead and pull up the browser, a Facebook browser here on this up, on this other screen. Yeah. Take a little bit. But yeah, just give me a few seconds here and uh, I will be ready. I was more concerned with making sure I had my drinks ready and all that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that was the... Uh, that was the, beverages. Yeah, that was the, the the primary thing for today. Just make sure you had the uh, the alcohol lined up and uh, and ready to go. But it looks like uh, yeah, look checking it out. It looks pretty good. So good deal. So all right, guys. Well, let's get started here. So what's up? Uh, first of all, big thank you to uh, to Joaquin for yeah. What's going on, guys? Uh, and coming out here and uh, and and being part of this. Well, I'm getting some feedback on my end over here. Let me go ahead and cancel this here and cancel this here. All right, but yeah, definitely a big shout out to Joaquin from Stoic Outdoors for coming out and being a part of this show, agreeing to do this here. Uh, I'm going to be trying to read as many comments as I can. We're already getting some comments. We got some people, uh, and we got Roy tuning in. He's all like, uh. <laughs> but definitely, uh, we've got Joaquin in the house, and uh, a lot, most of you guys know him by the Stoic guy, and that's where you guys see him, and that's how I first recognize him. And he was like, hey, the guy's from Stoic, Stoic. the guy's from Stoic. So, uh, so we're actually here today to tell. Jacob. <laughs> well, I know Jacob as uh, I knew Jacob as the as Stoics guy's friend before, <laughs> so that's how that's how we kind of started. But um, but yeah, so actually we got Jacob up here in, in one of these corners up here too, who's actually a, another one of our pro staffers. We got Victor Fabian, who we learned about a little bit more last uh, a few yeah. days ago, and and the guy in the middle or this way right here, um, uh, um. Joaquin so so yeah so again guys like the, the idea around this is just really kind of give people a chance a platform to get out there talk to uh, their audience as well as our, our audience and kind of ask some questions let our, our guests ask questions online so any of you guys have a question whether, a question whether you're watching on Facebook YouTube uh, just add it there and, uh, and we'll do our best to answer them here throughout the show. And, uh, and re so, so really just kind of give our, our audience and your audience really a chance to get to know the man behind the videos. So we all enjoy watching the videos and definitely we're like, what, what does this guy do? Just fish? And so obviously <laughs> that's just part yeah, of it, right? That's, that's the guy. <laughs> yeah. So, but, uh, so yeah, man. So it was just, uh, so, so, so I really like the first thing is, and Victor's out there playing his, uh, is 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 fishing rod right there like a guitar but uh uh yeah yeah he's he's trying to do that yeah so that's that's what we're gonna get to today actually you know what now we got a guitarist and a singer so i think this show is gonna be i think i don't know jacob's saying yeah actually so does Joaquin. so actually we're gonna touch about all the different aspects or not all of them but some of them right here some of the less known ones um but uh but yeah so let's i mean we're here to talk about stoic first and so uh so, so I guess I mean we all kind of you hear the word stoic or stoism, and, and you know there's a certain uh, kind of thing that comes to mind when you first think when you hear that. But I mean, what for you? What was your perspective? Why did you choose that name, uh, stoic? What does it mean to you? Yeah, so first of all, my name is Joaquin. I'm from a little small town here in the valley, Rohando, and uh, I've always watched you know YouTube videos, you know Facebook videos, and that's what really got got me into wanting to make videos for specifically down here in the Rio Grande Valley, Royal City, Port Mansell. And um, Stoic Outdoors, why I came up with that name, you know, I've gone out fishing plenty of times where I, I don't catch anything or I go hunting and I don't, you know, shoot anything, but I still go out the next day, I'm sure Jacob, Jacob knows. <laughs> we go oh, out yeah. sometimes. Yeah, we've been and, there. Hey, but what do you do? You know, you, you keep casting, keep casting, keep, change lure color, change something. Got to yep. be res resilient. It's one of my get back, you know, get back out there next weekend when you run out of daylight. <laughs> yes, sir, man. So that's one of the catchphrases that I use is be resilient because that was the whole name or the whole uh, reason why I named it that Stoic Outdoors. And uh, yeah, so just keep on keeping on, you know. Well, I mean, resilient. yeah, I mean, right now, actually, right now is a good time. What's up? You got TJ, Christy, uh, Roy, she's sending their shout outs to us. So what's up, guys? But uh, actually, right now is a good time to talk about resilience, right? So, I mean, right now we're going through some kind of uncharted, a new times in our lives. And, you know, basically what we're doing is pretty much unprecedented, at least, in, you know, in the last 50, 75 years and the last time there was any kind of pandemic if you will you know 80 90 years 100 years ago whatever you want whatever you want to call it but uh but yeah i mean we're we're, we're, we're kind of 
forced with kind of being learning how to be resilient right now when you say like just with yeah yeah it's pretty uh it's pretty crazy you know working in law enforcement it's pretty uh it brings it into perspective you know what i mean it's it's something that we've never faced you know we're so used to being able to see the bad guy in front of you you know what i mean being able to see an, an actual person or you know something but this is like it's an invisible threat you know what i mean it's pretty pretty crazy how we're we're dealing with that that's one of the reasons why i wore this mask you know it's just something simple <laughs> you can do you know, you know what i mean we go out you know I, I know a lot of the cities are doing that right now right they're passing the facial mask i just want to show an example this is everyone has one pretty much on them mm -hmm. put it on yeah. your face. yeah i think harlingen just started doing that today yeah yeah. They put it as an advisory right now. They haven't yeah. made, it, made it a mandatory yet. But I'm just saying that it's crazy that this <laughs> is what I have. <laughs> oh, look at Victor. Victor's got the nice one there, too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so some, something to, to think about. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So definitely these face shields. I mean, we use them or, or bus, whatever you want to call them. We're used to wearing them all over the place. Uh, everybody says here they'd rather be fishing than listen to us. And set, and don't. you're not the only ones. We'd all. <laughs> that was a yeah. good <laughs> But that that yeah. that that was the, <laughs> that was the purpose of this. Yeah. That was an, that's the reason why we came out with this show. We're all pretty, <laughs> but uh, nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, so definitely these face shields. Take them out. You can wear them to the grocery store. Uh, maybe Joaquin will show us or Victor will show us the different ways you can wear these things. Um, but uh, uh, there have been several kind of advisories that go out there, and and, and some places it's required now. To, you have to wear something over your face when you when you go out in public. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, but coming back to you, so, so you know the idea was around coming uh, you know stoic being resilient having your bad days having your good days and just keep on on trucking huh yes sir when i was you know when i was a kid i would go out with my dad he's the one that showed me how to fish and he would always say you know we'd go fishing sometimes we'd go fish the canals here around you know real hondo and fish all day drink a lot of water you know because it was hot you know back yeah. in the summertime but we would still have that uh mentality of you know keep casting and keep keep trying you know what i mean so yep I've always had that mindset, and and uh, that's that's the reason why I came up with with the channel name Still Got Doors. Wanted to come out with something different. A lot of people ask me that. Hey, what does that mean? I'm like. Well, look it up you know well, what, mindset. well yeah when you look it up actually I, I lost some of you guys here let me yeah, know we just lost uh Fabian ah yeah. oh, Fabian brought us all down now so <laughs> let, me in, let me see yeah yeah we're still good yeah so I uh before you got the name did you think of another name that you were might have been wanting to use I was just gonna come up with South Texas Fishing basic basic channel name everyone knows what it means you know what i mean but for me there he is he's back fabian's back there you go yeah. there you are okay i can't see fabian yet let me bring him in our guests can't see him either so so there we go now we're back so we just oh, got we just got we just got, shuff we just, we just got shuffled we just got shuffled in oh. so yeah, yeah no it was there was a little bit of a delay there yeah i was trying to sort it out and figure it out but uh yeah roy's just saying they lost all of us and so i guess everybody's streaming that we're breaking the internet i guess you could say that so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it only took it only took two 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 uh two shows to, to get to uh, 24 people that's yeah got. yeah they yeah well 24 on yours like i'm showing 37 or 37 between 37 oh. and 40 across the different platforms that we're that we're that's on so yeah we've uh we've got a pretty good audience and uh but uh yeah so sorry about that we lost it um we'll blame it on the coronavirus if there's anyone that seems to be taking the blame for everything right now so um so so it strikes again yeah. But um, but yeah, so 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 you, so you you came up with the stoic art name idea, you know, your your beginning start, you know, kind of growing up as a kid, uh, you're fishing like actually most of our was growing up with your dad, um, and, and so what point did you decide like, hey, I'm gonna you know I want to start recording my fishing trips, and, and and kind of what what was that like? So I've had you know everyone has your your phone footage when you were a kid the shaky footage you know grainy footage of you catching a fish and I was like man it, wouldn't it be cool to actually record these uh, these memories and put them on a platform as in, you know YouTube I remember Jacob and I went fishing and, I, and I, his boat powerful came up and ended up hitting me it's funny <laughs> to go back it's funny to go back and watch that video you know what I mean ten five years ten years now if you, I did it on purpose you, yeah exactly he was trying to. <laughs> trying to take, yeah, right. yeah. But it, that, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come up with a video because uh, we we actually won a tournament together, so uh, we had that all on footage from beginning to end. So that's oh yeah, that one, was that was yeah fun. One, one of the reasons we, we look back, we just we just randomly got together. Hey, let's go fish a tournament. We ended up you know being very blessed that day, and we did pretty we did very well. So 
something like that is an example of why I wanted to record and put it on actual footage. Oh, good deal, man. So, so how long ago was that? I mean, when did you actually just, just start actually doing that? So I, I went fishing with my buddy. Uh, he's also from here, Daniel Reese. If he's watching, you know, shout out to him. We, we, we did a video about a year and a half to two years ago, and uh, that was uh, the start of it. That was I, it. I had a GoPro, the Hero 5, and I just recorded and learned how to edit on iMovie. A lot of people don't know, but these iPhones, man, they have a free software, iMovie, and you can cut and upload your videos just on your phone. And so that's how you started? So Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. So, so, so when you started this, uh, did you start it thinking, okay, I'm, I'm going to make it for, you know, just for viewing purposes? I mean, because obviously now getting into it more and more, uh, the, the more views you get, the more whatever, you know, you kind of monetize it. Like, yeah. obviously your, you know, reason to go in it because you love the outdoors, you love doing what you're doing. But do you have that mindset of, okay, can I make this bigger and make this and it's amazing. I learned from my kids that you know these YouTube people are making millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah. Like, like is that Pl- a, playing is with toys? You know, but I guess something you, <laughs> you want to do. So I mean, I'll, everyone you know that posts videos, that'd be nice, right? You see people that fish. <laughs> that's what they do for a living. You know what I mean? That'd exactly. be pretty sweet. But one of the big reasons why I did do this is I, when I first watched you know YouTube videos down here, the people from the Rugan Valley, there wasn't a lot of videos of how to fish the specific area so that's one of the things i learned from jacob i learned from fern i learned from i haven't been fishing with victor yet but i'm sure i, I learned from him you <laughs> not from victor <laughs> no i'm just kidding victor's good that's a map yeah that's how he remembers the constellations yeah exactly so oh so i don't know if you could Lately on my videos, I've been I've been showing exactly what I'm using, as in the jig head, the, the the line that I'm using, the power pro braid, the the type of rod I'm using, the reel I'm using, and what cadence I'm using when I'm actually fishing. So that's one of the big things that I want to, you know, show. I actually have people that message me every now and then on on Instagram. Hey, bro, what color lure of AM lures do you like to throw? And I say, oh, I like throwing throwing this and this this this. So that's that's uh, one of the big reasons why I. Uh, why I and started the channel as well. And it seems like that's something you started doing. Because I remember in the beginning, I've been watching since, you know, I think I think Jacob actually reached out to me uh, a couple of years ago. And that's how I kind of got started or, or watching, you know, Stoic. And uh, a lot of the videos in the beginning were just and cool videos to watch. They were very yeah. entertaining, you know. But it seems like lately in the past, you know, few months, six months maybe, they've become a lot more informative. Where, again, like you said, you know, more of a you know, pursuit channel, outdoor channel type of, of, of show where you're actually going through the motions and telling us what you're doing. Like, I think that's really, really cool. I think yeah, one of the videos I came out with recently is, is a budget combo saltwater reel. You know what I mean? And, and that's when I was in high school, when I was in college, I don't have them. I didn't have the money to go out and spend, yeah. you know, $200 on a Stratic. And so I, I came up with a $65 combo you can get, you know, from hook, line and sinker or anywhere. And you can still go out and do what what I was doing or what anyone's doing with that sixty five dollar budget combo. So yeah, now I, th- I think that's I mean that's part of the value proposition is how you differentiate yourself, right? I mean, there's a lot of people out there, and, and so I think behind any content you put out there, there there has to be a strategy. You know, what are you trying to do? What do you obviously you want people to give you their time? So what are you going to give them in return? And, and you have to think about that. And there's different there's re- different reasons people tune into you. One of them is that hey, you're entertaining, you make funny videos, and you just enjoy watching them. But the other thing is like uh, people will uh, will come in. I mean, nowadays it, it used to be if you want to learn how to do something, you Googled it, and now it's like you want to learn how to do something, you YouTube it, right? Because there's so much there's so much content on YouTube on and, and both good and bad, right? But whatever. But uh, but I think and then you'll see like people go out there and they look to see how this is how we learn now days is that we youtube stuff so it's good to see you kind of and other people kind of when you're out there showing people not only hey we're out here catching fish because a lot of people see that but this is how we're catching the fish this is what we're thinking about and uh and yeah so that, i think that's a that's a good that's a good mindset yeah a good a good example of that my you know i posted a couple of videos or pictures of my nephew catching fish you know here recently he caught his first slot red and nice. up until mm-hmm. Recently, he was using what you know, like what Victor has back there, a, a, a topwater rig with the trailer behind it, which of course you've seen Joaquin using in a lot, in quite a few of his videos. And uh, you know, I was, I told him like, hey, this time we're gonna take it off. We're just gonna go straight jig head. 
And he goes, oh, yeah, I've been practicing like, you know, like that guy Stoic does. <laughs> you know, and so, you know, he's he's watching and he's learning how to do it. And, you know, he did great. You know, me, Fern, and him went out. And, you know, he caught, I think he caught it was a 25, just a hair over 25-inch slot red. And, you know, this, he, yeah, he, he fought it all by himself, brought it in, and, you know, as happy as could be with it. And, so, and it all attests to, the, to those videos. So, so when you when you started, uh, Joaquin, you were you, you started. I mean, you said you were using a GoPro five at the time. Yeah, this is a GoPro Hero five. A lot of people don't. I mean, everyone has a cell phone. You can just you know record off of your phone pretty much, and and record off of something. A, a Hero five, for example, they're on. You can get them for like one hundred and twenty bucks, one hundred thirty bucks, yeah. as opposed to going out and getting a a fancy a fancy rig. So, so you use that, and then you used your um, your you said your your phone to edit the software and, and kind of get started like that. Yeah. So on, on these iPhones, you can go to over to your app store and you can download iMovie, and it's a free it's a free software, man, and it's it's pretty good for being for being something on everyone's phone. And the, the, the uh, Hero Five. That's the five, Victor. Five. Yeah, this is the five. Yeah. Oh, so there's several. I mean, so you started off with the five, and obviously, I mean, what was your? How long did you you fish the five or use the five? Uh, and what were your overall thoughts on on the five? Or do, are you still using it today? Did Did you guys lose me there? Hello. Uh, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I can hear you yeah. No. Yeah, I was asking. <laughs> yeah, I was asking you about the GoPro five. So you started with that, and, and is that what you're using right now still? Yeah, I still use the GoPro Hero 5 because you can still shoot 4K on it and you can still do what the Hero 7 does and you're, you're getting, you know, the same quality for like, you know, a quarter of the price or half of the price. So that's that's still what I use right now. And plus the batteries that I have, you can still use them for your 7 if you eventually want to upgrade. So I, that's what the ones that I have. Or the, there's an 8 went right now, right? GoPro Hero 8? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the 5, so like, the five yeah, so if you're looking to get started. And then before that, did I mean, did any of you guys use a 4 at all? I never did. Have you? I had a three. And, and do you still use that today, or you got rid? Okay. No, I I actually did the trade in, and I got the five, and then I kept the five, and then I got an eight. Okay. So I do have an eight. How was that eight? Is it pretty good, or does it mess it's up? It's really really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. I like the uh, I like the to be able to re- to turn it on and turn it off with my voice activated. So I know with this one you can start recording. Yeah. You can say GoPro start recording, but with the other one you can turn it on and turn it off. So you can't do that with this one. Right. So for me, it makes it it gives me more life because I can turn it off. I can be like GoPro turn off and it turns off. I don't have to have it on or be pressing buttons. Then when yeah. I get hooked up, I just say GoPro turn on and it starts recording automatically. Yeah. You don't does, lose it catch, does it catch that voice? Yeah. Yeah, so I want to hear saying he uses uh, the session four. He said that they all work pretty good. That he's had pretty good experience with them. So, um, so, 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 yeah. So, so it sounds like it really any GoPro you get out there. Um, kind of the one thing I've seen here, and, and it's kind of like the big d- deterrent to to videos is. Uh, like some of these things, they pick up a lot of noise, right? So especially out here at the Arroyo in Port Mansfield, where the wind is always howling. Um, so what are things that you do? Uh, there you go. <laughs> So you go out and get one of these. They're, uh, I believe, they're seventeen bucks, and it comes for three of them. And it's it, you wrap it around the GoPro. So, 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 so what? What is that though? I mean, you're saying one of it's these? A, uh, yeah, it's called a windscreen, a wind muff, and it goes over the GoPro. And instead of having an external mic or something like that, you just use this to cover the GoPro, and it blocks. It's been rated at like 65, 70 percent of all the wind, the wind decibels. So you use this bad boy right here, and it yeah. solves that problem. And you don't have to have the external mic because I was using an external mic most of the times. And you know, you move around and it gets unconnected, or the mic, you know, you try using having... it while wade fishing. It exactly, didn't really work out too great. Yeah, yeah. It dropped it in the water. Like this, <laughs> if it drops in the water, this is good to go. It is, you know what I mean. So, one of the examples that I use. And so that I mean that doesn't muffle your sound or your voice or whatever. At all? It's not. It's not as crisp and clear as, as it would if you had the mic. But in my, you know, experience, it's it's works a lot better than the external mic. Because like I said, you just you could, I can put this underwater, and you can't obviously put an external mic underwater. You put this uh, on your head, and if it rains, you know, you're fine. You don't have to worry about it. So. 
Yeah. So, 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 so obviously, so we talk about the windscreen. Uh, you may or may not use uh, an external mic. It's obviously, you're not using one anymore. What are what are some of the accessories that you need for that GoPro in order I mean, to to you know feel like you have the tools to 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 capture the angles or whatever's going on? Yeah. So all you really need is a head mount. I find that using a head mount makes it a lot easier to use than using a chest mark. Chest mount, for example, if you're using a spinning reel, you're I, I mean, I fish right here, yeah. so you're going to be covering a lot of that action. Yeah. yeah. So you use a head mount, where, you know, wherever your head goes, that camera's going to go. You know, you're turning around looking for fish, looking for a, a redfish tail or something like that mm -hmm. to show itself. You, you have it on your head and, and you're good to go. So, now, and this, then, might, so. this might be a dumb question because I, I've been seeing that, you know, that you have your head mount, but those, even then, I mean, you do have pretty odd, odd angles, you know, from, from yeah. a head mount, you know, especially a chest mount, it's even worse. But, I mean, is it possible to kind of mount things on the boat to where you can go and piece things together? And, yeah, Victor, yeah. Victor does that. You have a little clamp, right? And it clamps on there? Yeah, or I have a, yeah, I have a, a, a circle clamp that goes to the crossbar, and I already turned that one on, and then I'll get my eight, and I use it with my hand, or put it on my... Uh, I guess because I, I never watch Victor's videos. <laughs> 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 I have a, I have a call it. So. Fine. <laughs> the one that has the foam inside, that's what I use. Action oh, hat. The action hat. The action hat, which is, uh, yeah, that's it. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So those things are cool. I, I like them. So, I, so eventually the plan is to, to get a cameraman, right? And he can just be <laughs> recording. You know, that's a way, is, that but, be the, is that the best way to do it, like essentially? You can do, I like Victor's way. I've done that before. The only thing is, um, some, whenever I go fishing with people, I... I forget. I'm too excited to go out there and fish. <laughs> then you're going to have to worry about two cameras, turning one on, turning one off. So yeah. it's, I try to keep it basic. But, I mean, if you had someone with a camera that's, you know, that's there just to, to do that, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty nice. Like Arlene. Yeah. So, uh, well, along the, along those same lines, I mean, so when you're um, obviously, so when you're going out to fishing to make a, a video, I mean, does that change what your fishing is like that day obviously you may you know your techniques may be the same but you're gonna you know you're it's kind of like going fishing in my opinion i'm not gonna say going fish, fishing with your kids is bad because it's not but you know it's like a step back right like like you're, you're 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 not fishing the way you as aggressively or that because you're you're trying to document stuff right and so you're like oh and you're thinking about making a video and so you're like and, and so how does that how do you kind of balance that or, or maybe you're just going to foot film content yeah so usually i always I mean, Jacob knows, but I always film an intro like in the truck or something quick, maybe 10, 15 seconds. Because when I record, you want to think of it like a book. You know, you read a book, you have an intro, you have a body, and then you have a conclusion. So the intro is whatever you say, hey, we're going fishing to Royal City, going to be using these lures, going to be fishing this er or this area. And then you have your body, which is your, your fishing. Sometimes I'll go out there and I'll fish, and I, I, I catch myself, I'm not even saying anything to the camera. So then I'll overlay a voice and they're like hey i was using this cadence i was using this lure at this time and then you're fishing but you can still be talking to the audience or to whoever is watching you know yeah what I, mean? I, I guess that's I, I, that's I guess that's a good way of also kind of salvaging any video that was too loud or too windy or right whatever you can just kind of mute yeah. it and like just do the talk over uh, and save some of that footage and so no, you can even put music on there, you know. So, well, 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 so, so I, when you do go out, like on any given morning, is it? Oh, you always have your camera, or do you have a mindset of, hey, today we're gonna film and that's it. On this day, we're not gonna film. We're just gonna go fish. Or so. So normally, I I usually always take my camera, which is in my phone, and sometimes I've even recorded the entire thing on my phone. As in, like, I'll do an an intro after the day of fishing. So like we'll we'll go out and fish the entire day. And then I'll just do the intro at the end of the video, but then I'll put it, you know, crop, uh, cut it and put it to the front of the video. And gotcha. but, yeah, but normally I usually always take my phone, which normally everyone takes their phone and you can use that to record. So. So, so I, I, I like the analogy you said, you know, it's like a book, right? Putting a, a video together is like a book. And so my yeah. question would be, you know, so, you know, a book doesn't just start with the intro, right? There's prep work that goes before that, right? And so my yeah. question's around kind of what prep work do you do, um, you say the day before or the, uh, you know, the, the morning of, before you actually start recording in a sense, hey, like, I'm going to go out and this is what I'm thinking I'm going to record or this is what I want to capture. Do you do any of that or you just kind of let the day go and however it goes, you uh you, you film it uh, yeah personally i just kind of just just let it let it happen you know what i mean you're fishing you're trying to enjoy yourself i just record whatever i 
feel like recording at the time or you know what I mean I don't really, I don't really take it that far as I'm like oh it's super structured no I'm, I'm out there you're fishing you're enjoying right. so so I just kind of just just you know wing it and so to say and then you know piece it together and make it make it a flow in a way and how long normally is because I've heard people say like you know it's a lot very time consuming you know it takes hours and hours to kind of you know get a video together you know how, how time consuming is, is it really to actually get a finalized uh, video yeah, so for so me, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of very particular on, on what I release because if someone's gonna take their time to to watch my video, I would want myself to take my time to make the video worth watching. You know what I mean? So of course. No, normally, I make a video with we go fishing with I go fishing with Jacob on a Friday. Uh, I'm sorry, on a, on a Sunday in the morning, and it'll take me usually, you know, four or five days to edit that video. But I I work on it slowly. I don't I don't you know dump 10 hours a day into that video. I'll work on it 20, 30 minutes as in yeah. uploading uploading the video to you know my Mac or to my phone. And then I'll spend the other time actually sequencing it. So I'll put the, the clips in order and then I'll just start cropping, 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 cropping. And then you, by the end of it, you have yourself a, a video. I'd say nowadays, so you started off doing the video editing on your phones and nowadays you're using your computer to, to edit the videos? Yeah. Are you yeah, saying- so I was so going to ask, are you still using iMovie or are you using something different now? I use uh, Premiere Pro on my Mac, mm -hmm. but on my phone I use the, uh, the majority of the time is my iM the iMovie. Yeah. And I just, you know, use the basic functions, put some music on it and and do a little bit of color grading and, and you're good to go. So so iMovie, iMovie is a free software that comes on Macs where yeah. you can download on your iPhones. And so before you went to Premiere, did you were you using iMovie on your machine, or did you, as soon as you started doing videos on your computer, you went to Premiere? So I I started on my the majority of my the videos that I actually do them on my phone, and uh, I did that for a while, or maybe like the, the first like six seven months, and then I was like, hey, you know, I want to you know get better at this, so then I switched over to the to the actual laptop, the actual, yeah. the actual Mac. Yeah, so I mean, I, I, most of the videos that we make, um, I, I've been using um, iMovie for the, probably about seventy percent of what I do, um, and I'm, I'm like the same thing too. Like even like some of the videos that we teach are like in terms of how we built rods. Uh, I'll take my phone and I record them with my phone, and I have an external microphone uh, that we do that. But then, uh, but then I put them in iMovie, and uh, and iMovie's pretty pretty works pretty well, pretty simple right out the box. It's easy for sequencing things. Kind of where yeah. I, where I start having issues with iMovie myself is where you start trying to do overlays, uh, specifically like pictures and text and like that, and and uh, it's still pretty simple. But kind of when you start trying to compound things on things, and it, there's there, there's some limitations around that, and and that's why we started using uh, and trying started kind of migrating into into trying out Premiere. Um, but I think I yes. mean iMovie by, is is a good place to start for 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 most people. Yeah, even on the Mac, the the iMovie is free, and you that people don't 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 know that the Mac iMovie is is different than your actual iPhone. You can do way more stuff on your mm -hmm. on your Mac, so that's a you can actually overlay stuff on there. So. Yeah, so that was Joe's question. What software do you use? And and so um, it sounds like yeah, iMovie's the one. Asked that earlier also. Yeah. The other, editing software is expensive do. part of posting videos. Yeah, so Rudy would. Yeah. can do is with the GoPro, mm -hmm. the GoPro app, um, and that actually, as you're recording, it's making a video based on that. So it does a sequencing for you on its own. And me, all my videos have been on the GoPro app. And, and so you're at you, you you can edit them in, in there as well too. Nice man. Yeah. That's pretty. I didn't know that. So yeah. it actually does the the hard work for you. Trying to sequence, it. Actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, you you in the morning you record a video and as you're going recording, yeah, yeah. It's kind of it's gonna make a video for you. And actually, you I'm can the... change it. You can move stuff around. But it's gonna make one for you already. And I think the GoPro app is is free, and and I also think that you don't need to have it. it, it, yeah. it you don't need a GoPro. Like if you record it with your phone, like on it's your iPhone, free. it's not free. The GoPro app. No. No. Okay. I thought and there was. Okay. You pay six bucks, but six bucks a month, but those six bucks uh, also get you a, 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 like a cloud space, so you can save all your. Oh, okay. With well, maybe that, maybe that's what you're paying for then, because maybe like I think the free one, like it doesn't give you any cloud space, but you can still do it. Because I have the free one on my phone, and I can do certain things with it, but I can't. I, I probably haven't tried doing anything on the cloud or pushing it things looks, like that. Uh, looks like Quick Pro. 
That's the same. The quick, same as right? The quick was the same one. So they started out with the quick pro, and they, when they came out with the uh, seven and eight, they made another app for it. And the quick pro and the other one they linked together. Yeah. The quick pro is mostly for like, quick, quick, quick videos. Like you can't really change them. If you want to change something, you're gonna gotta go to the other app. But the good thing about, I mean, the, not too bad. Six bucks a month, you actually get a twenty percent off on all the accessories. So you want to buy something that is GoPro? <laughs> but I mean, like, yeah, but nowadays, like, Amazon stuff is out there, and there's a whole bunch of things out there. I mean, I have a lot of GoPro things that I've never used, and and, and then they're just um, there's that right. They so they sit there. Yeah, they sit there. But but yeah. I but the other thing is like, and, and I've had GoPros for the last, I don't know, five six years, and and it wasn't until recently that I started using them. Like, I, there was I, I I bet like I still have it right here, my GoPro four, and it sent it was in there for. I, I probably didn't use it for like a year and a half and, and just because I was like I, and, and I had video like I went out there recorded something and I just never went and edited to the added it to the uh, or kind of doing the editing I was always scared of it kind of like hey I don't want to do with this or I have to do with this work and so I just um so yeah I think I, what, what do you say what do you say to someone that's like that and I know several people like that the same way too that they have these GoPros and they've used them maybe once or twice and they think hey I'm gonna get this GoPro I'm gonna start recording all my trips and then like, <laughs> so J- so Jacob say so Jacob may have one for sale if anyone that's looking for one <laughs> it does take time and it takes time yeah. to record it me man if and there's times where i focus more on recording yeah and i'm not having a good time fishing because i'm focused oh, i want to get this and then there's days that i'm like you know forget the damn gopro it's always on the boat and i'll be slamming reds and i'm like and the <laughs> <laughs> nobody's gonna believe me this happened <laughs> no i know he's lying yeah <laughs> you had a good day right so um so 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 obviously you put this video together you piece them together and i'm kind of getting to uh, rogelio's question here is around so uh rogelio's question i just posted it here on there is the music you guys use on your video like he's asking about music and yeah, uh so, so if we go over to youtube and you, you actually type in non-copyright and youtube has an actual playlist of music you can use you type in audio library on youtube and then there's an actual like cha- there's an actual channel, 2.82 million subscribers. That'd be nice to have, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> 2.82 million subscribers, and there's just a whole list of I mean a whole bunch of music you can you can you can download on here. And a lot of people ask me on the iMovie, hey man, how do you put music, any music you want, on these iPhones? You have screen recording, so you just play the music while you're recording your screen. You know, of course you got to have the music on, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, your volume on. So then with that, you just, you know, you, you punch it into your iMovie and, and then you have the music. And I always credit, you know, whatever whatever the artist is. But that's specifically what I use because these, these, uh, mu- the music on, on, this, uh, on this channel, it's not copyright. So you're not going to have a copyright strike. You're not using someone else's video. I actually use uh, Alan Garza. He's a, he's a, a rapper from down here in the valley. I use some of this. Oh, nice. Do you mind if I use uh, your your bars, as they say, right? And then I, put, I put it on there. And, uh, yeah, so that's one of the examples that I did. Well, in addition to that, like, in addition to those channels, there's also, like, the YouTube studio within you. Uh, studio youtube studio whatever um a, a place where there where they actually google has just t- tracks that you can download yeah, and download yeah yeah and then you can bring you can import those in into your files as well too but they're just not um it, it, it's a i don't know it's a different kind of like I, i've used them for like short things for like 20 30 second things but not like they're not yeah they're not hit they're, they're not bars yeah. <laughs> there, there might be twinkies or something like that but uh but they're yeah. uh two bars at a time but uh but yeah man so 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 obviously i think people were asking about you know making videos editing videos and so uh, obviously you have a lot of videos and so let's talk about like just like youtube in itself like obviously you have a oh, go ahead victor one thing real quick on the GoPro app, that one also has free music, so there's already music. Oh, really? Into the GoPro app that you can use. Oh, damn, that's nice too. That so so YouTube and and um and, and GoPro app are places where you can get uncopyrighted music and put into your videos. Um, so, right, yeah. so 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 you make videos, you spend some time editing them. Um, 
uh, four or five days, whatever, uh, and then you you upload them. How do you how, how do you get people to come watch your videos? So yeah, so on YouTube, there's an actual there's a guy that I watch, and he talks about keywords. You know what what you type into your title of your video, and that that makes a big difference. You know what I mean? If I were to go out there and just put caught redfish on my title. There's millions and millions of people that upload daily that use the title Redfish on there. You know what I mean? So, for example, on this last video, it's doing pretty good, 2,000 views. Yeah, it's doing phone. really good, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I don't know if you can see it on there, but I, the title was Massive Redfish. I mean, ma Massive School of Redfish, and I put Fishing Arroyo City. You know, if you, a lot of people are, are, Google, are Googling and using YouTube to, to see, to watch YouTube videos out of Arroyo City. So, you, I use both of those keywords massive school of redfish royal city put that into my title and there you go a lot of people will actually be more inclined or be more that video is going to pop up more for people to click on yeah, as yeah i've noticed that i've noticed like when i'm at the shop you know doing what i'm doing like i'll usually have something playing in the background and if i put fishing mansfield a lot of your videos come out heck yeah man it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little strategy I have. It's, it's working slowly you know what I mean? Yeah. The unfortunate part is when I see that Jacob's on there, I just go, <laughs> <laughs> just so, just so I think Jacob's going to be the dedicated cameraman, it sounds like. <laughs> so, and he's got an extra camera, so it looks like, yeah, like, like it's a win-win. A lot of people are like, man, this guy, that's all he posts is the title is Fishing Roy City. But yeah, you watch one of my videos, and a lot of my videos are going to pop up on that suggested because they all have the same title, the same title, the same title. So as opposed to having different titles, your stuff's not going to pop up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you, you put one video with the same title and multiple videos, they're going to pop. It's going to autoplay. Sometimes, like Fabian said, you, you have it on at the shop. One of my videos is going to play, hopefully, that the theory is two or three are going to play right after that without yeah. him clicking off or without, you know what I mean? So. They do, and, and it seems to pick up, like uh, like you said, they keep seem to pick up similar keywords. So I'll see pretty much the same people. Uh, if I put, you know, uh, Mansfield, I usually tend to pick up the same uh, YouTubers on there, you know, fishing the same thing or in that same uh, list, if you want to call it. Yeah. And so, so what? Um, about, so what about like within there? Like, what about playlists? Do you do you put together any playlists out there? So, so I did originally, but I haven't done it lately, which I need to update. But I, it's another one of my keywords: South Texas fishing, uh, saltwater fishing, and then freshwater fishing, and then. Uh, I think one of my other channels is is just like canal fishing because a lot of people that's what they do down here, you know. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I still don't have a boat, and I didn't have a boat when I was a kid, so you would go fish these canals here and catch large Car. mud bass or or fish from the fish from Pirates Landing. That's no, another one of the videos I did. A lot of people go to Port Isabel, yeah. but that one did really good too because of that title specifically. Port, I mean, uh, Pirates Landing, Port Isabel fishing. Yeah, it's a, lot it's a relevance. It's a relevance yeah. thing that that's gonna, you know, I'm trying to learn something, and when you yeah. see the person doing the same thing you're doing, you're gonna want to do it. Yeah, or so watch one, it. So one of those things, my my uh, brother's co my brother's coworker has two kids, and they've always wanted to go fishing. So he saw my video, and he told my brother, "Hey man, I saw your brother's video, and I went out there and I did the same thing, live shrimp, free hook on, you know, no weight. He threw it out there, and sure enough, the little kids are catching." You know, nice sized trout. You know what I mean? But hey, that's one of the examples of what I what I was trying to do. Get you know the kids out there, and if, I guarantee if he didn't if he didn't see that video, he would he would have gone and I mean I'm not or, saying he doesn't know how to fish, but he wouldn't have used that style of fishing. That's like me. Or or, yeah. or maybe yeah. maybe he wouldn't have gone at all, right? Like like maybe exactly. right maybe watching your video is like, hey, this guy's just going right here right next door and you know this is what he's doing let me go try this right so so you can look at it yeah maybe you put him, his kids on fish but or you know help them but maybe you know you you motivated someone to take some you influence in the same in the sense of uh, social media influencer uh you influence someone to uh <laughs> to to go do that so <laughs> I had a, a video that i put up and some guys like hey joe that's victor <laughs> Like you're catching the same fish. Like, no, I'm not catching the same fish. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so overlapping the video. That's all you were doing. <laughs> oh, hey, Jacob. No, not. Just upside yeah. down and changing the angles, mirroring it, and going backwards. And uh, and yeah. So, so like, so like Victor, you said. Like, What's that? Something you like, Joe, Victor? That's, Joe, that's Victor. Yeah, Joe wants your autograph. <laughs> yeah, Joe. Joe yeah. Bowden. <laughs> 
and I want his, bro. Hey, so, so when you're uh, like doing that, like actually making a video, I know like my brother, you know, the Nashville, he, he does the, the whole writing of songs and stuff. And I'm sure you, you've done that also. And, and, and when you're doing that, you have a certain time frame. Is that the same mindset when you're making a video? Like, do you have a certain time frame that you guys know, like, hey, you know what, I can only keep the attention of people for this long? Or is it however long it goes? So I try to make five second cuts. I mean, a lot of people, you know, they make it different. Uh, I, I do five seconds and I'll cut the clip and, and say something else or do an overlay or add a music or add a transition. It's okay. to constantly, constantly get the people, you know, watching your videos. I, I don't know. I watch uh, a guy named John B on uh, on YouTube and man, that guy, you watch one of his videos and like by the time you know it, it's a 25 minute video <laughs> and it's over with. I'm like. I just spent 25 minutes of my life watching this guy <laughs> feeding, feeding his dog and going fishing. But he's smart about it. You know what I mean? He's making little cuts and stuff like that. So. And when you say cuts, what do you, what do you mean by that? So, like, the way we've been talking this entire time, this is all one big video. You know what I mean? So people, <laughs> we're, constantly, we're constantly talking. Yes, it's good. People are going to watch it. But if I were to go fish, and I just record the entire three hour. Reel in. Let's get to the meat. Yeah. Really. Yeah, gotcha. you want to you want to make it a cast, real cast, say something. You know what I mean? No. But you do yeah, that as the editing part, or you're doing that like as you're as you're actually filming. I do that after, like I film everything a long sequence, and then I'll edit it. The same thing that gotcha. Victor was saying about everything is sequen sequential. When he already when he has that app, you just cut a little bit every five seconds, seven seconds, cut a little bit. But sometimes I do live the entire video to add some type of suspense. I'll specifically say, hey. I'm gonna leave this video uncut so you guys yeah, can see, that. see the entire yeah. fight. And I think that's pretty cool. Catching a you know a good size red on a, on a Concept Z or or something on a you know a Baycasters. That's what I'm trying to get into. Speaking of that, Victor, or, I saw your Concept Z and I, in a couple of videos, man. I wouldn't have gone to the Concept Z. <laughs> should have asked you. you should have asked someone, man. You should have. I hear all the recent video of the school. Like that's cool how you went back to it. and You're like, I mean, it looks. Better. Yeah, right. Those are the big school of reds. Those are big school. Yeah, hell yeah. So I do, I do kind of the same thing when I do my little videos. I, I'll put like a, a picture of me catching fish, then I run a little bit of video, then I put picture of fish, and that's how I kind of break it off. So, so, so and let's, it. yeah. I mean, that that's that's your hook, right? So that's like that's your. So, so let's let's talk about hooks here on, on videos, and um, it's good. So, so what are you looking for when you're putting together your? Uh, first of all, if you maybe you can explain what a hook is and then also kind of how you know what are things you're looking for in that so so in the hook in the, in the little intro of the video i try to put that there we go <laughs> there's a hook so, yeah hey, i need to go get some of those doors man the, the purple haze <laughs> are bad bro i got good. a bag for you I'm there you go, yeah. there you go. <laughs> on our next outing new year's it's a, it's a central travel bro. Comes up <laughs> exactly yeah. plus he's got he's got some connections i'm sure that i can you can get through so he knows i know, a guy, yeah. I know yeah. a guy yeah hey so so on the, on the hook it's the way victor does it too I'll, I'll throw in little clips of actually catching like a solid red and i'll put the school in there in the intro that way someone watches their first 15 20 seconds they're gonna be like oh i want to watch this entire video and then i'll put it towards the end but that little intro 15 20 seconds 30 seconds whatever it is i try to take little clips of the whole video and throw them in there okay and make it into something that to draws the attention I, of people i believe the first minute of the video is very important i, I think it's been even less than a minute man i think it's like the first 15 seconds like the first like because i used to i used to not watch the whole video yeah. even uh even yours you know, I, <laughs> I and, like, eh. and then it's like it's, it's the starting scene the progress i was like okay i, I want to wait to go see that yeah. massive trial and it's to the end it's like this dick got me <laughs> <laughs> wait wait for, wait for part wait wait for part two i <laughs> got him yeah, <laughs> Uh, you know, 10, 15, I think I've seen one of yours, 15 minutes long, and I watched the whole video, but the, the, the first part has to be, has to be able to grab your attention. Yeah, I think your, your, your Facebook little ads or whatever you want to call them that you put like a preview to it, mm -hmm. I mean, that, that that's like, that's freaking oh, yeah. badass because I see that and I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go <laughs> And then you watch one and then, then you're stuck watching four or five of them, right? <laughs> yeah. 
what, what about watch, what about the like go ahead yeah no, and then you watch you watch the actual video on youtube it's like this is nothing like the actual <laughs> <laughs> is that <laughs> where's the rest of it um what what about thumbnails what are your experience with thumbnails so I, i'm horrible at making thumbnails to be honest with you but i, I, I look at this one you cut me you cut, i don't know if you can see it or not but do you like? Cut me off, I, I can't really see. Oh, I, I, I think that was intentional, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's all like, "My bad, bro. I didn't know that." <laughs> hey, that video's still pretty good. Doing pretty good, man. You can see, uh, you can see how people are actually clicking it because you see a little piece of the red, and like, hey, I don't want to see the whole piece of the oh, red. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so you're horrible. Yeah, like, so you're horrible. Oh, he takes kids fishing. <laughs> So you're horrible about the, the, making these thumbnails. So what do you do? You, do? you do not take them, and then you use snapshots of video, or do you take pictures and? Um... Yeah. So there's there's an app that I use here. It's called a uh, Fonto. It's free. I don't know if you can see it there. Fonto. The red one. On yeah. The okay. Yep. And that 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 app, you just literally click a, a photo, and you can add like little arrows. You can add whatever you want to it, and and uh, I I usually get piece a, a picture of the actual youtube clip i know on the gopro app you can actually t take a picture of you like bowed up right. with the, the power rod whatever and then i'll use that on that on that same app to to create a, a thumbnail yep so so you're, you're so it's not like a dedicated like hey i'm gonna go shoot a picture and this is gonna be my thumbnail this is like you're gonna take a snippet of your videos uh yeah, to, to no, make that thumbnail i i don't do that a lot of youtubers do 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 that but uh in my theory my theory is like i want to actually use something from the actual video yeah. that way the person's gonna see that thumbnail clip in the actual video yeah. so they're, they're not feeling like they're getting clickbait you know I mean? i've seen videos before where the guy's fishing and and there's there's someone there or something that's not in the actual video and you're like, yeah. well, i <laughs> got him <laughs> yeah. so I, I try to use a clip from my actual video in the in the thumbnail so and um and so what's the what's the role uh, or i guess two two more questions like what's the role of facebook in or instagram in driving traffic toward your youtube page yeah so so facebook and instagram is, is a platform you can put the little clips the video the little intro that i put in there and then i put the link and a lot of people it's you know i'm lazy every a lot of people you see the video and you're just going to click on it by nature and you go into your video and Hey, there's a view right there. You know what I mean? You do that to a thousand people, whatever. You, that's a thousand views. You know what yeah. I mean? So on an, an Instagram, I use the, uh, you know, you put a, a video, you put a picture, and you use hashtags. I'm not, actually not that good at doing hashtags. <laughs> I tr I try to go big, and then I go small. As in, like, I'll use Texas fishing, and then over here I'll put Arroyo Arroyo City. So I go big to small. Yeah, and then it's gonna it's actually gonna get more people to look at look at yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jacob, Christy's asking why you're so serious, man. She's uh, hey, what's going on here? She's saying. Oh, do I need to smile? <laughs> 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 don't 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 smile. <laughs> don't smile. He's he's trying to look hard. He's trying to look. <laughs> he's been in quarantine, so he's a uh, he's a little bit uh. Better. I haven't fished in two weeks. So. So, uh, that's what it is. There, there you go. Yeah. I'm in a bad. Yeah. And so, so, and then so how long so so what what does it take to get the quote unquote monetized on YouTube and what does that mean? So for for YouTube, I learned when I first started you got to have a thousand subscribers. You know that's step one, and then you got to have four thousand watch hours. So that seems like a lot, but if you put about you know forty fifty videos, by the time you hit a thousand subscribers, or unless you're you're really, really good, and you get a thousand subscribers right off the bat. They, that's great for you, but you still have to have four thousand watch hours. So that's one of the reasons why my videos have been a little longer, fifteen minutes, ten, fifteen minutes. And um, if one person watches fifteen minutes of your video, that's fifteen minutes towards a watch hour, towards to get four thousand uh, watch hours. Yeah, which is two hundred and forty thousand minutes of watch time. It's a, yeah. it's a lot. It, it's, it's a lot. lot. Yeah. So one one of the things, and one of, one of the reasons we do these ha or these these live videos on YouTube is because these videos um, they they count toward that, right? So if anyone's watching, so if anyone's watching on Facebook and you can watch on YouTube, definitely check us out there to help us out. But uh, but but you know, so, but the other thing is like the, the idea behind it is that there it doesn't require any editing afterwards, right? It's more like. The videos that, that we're putting on these shows and the initial idea was that we we're going to edit we we're going to put them out there 
and then um, edit them and then put them out on a podcast. And even though that may still be the intent, really very little of what we've done, it has like a, a time aspect of it, right? It's all about fishing in general. So that nothing's really need to be on a certain schedule. You could take what we said today and look at it maybe tomorrow or a year from now, and it's all going to be the same. We try to talk to talk about fishing in generalities and not in contextual to what's going on today uh but one of the reasons so, so we still have that based on the way we're putting out the content uh out there but the other aspect of it is that it doesn't require any post production right so you put it out there and this is it doesn't take any editing time right we just put it out there and people watch it and and mostly like very few people of these shows very few people are actually going to go back and watch the live part of it and part of that is that interaction right so we have comments and things and we read them and we post them here and we talk about them um and and that has that has to do with that but the idea around it is try to get to these two hundred and forty thousand minutes which which is a lot like so so, yeah, how, it is a lot. so how long did it take you to get to uh two hundred and forty thousand? Yeah, it took me it took me roughly like 10, 11 months to 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 get to a thousand subscribers, and then it took me a year and a half, a little longer than that, to get to the four thousand. So, so the subscribers uh, came first, yeah. Yeah, the subscribers came first, and then it, it got to the uh, four thousand watch hours. And, and how did? I think it's just hard. I mean, just in general, to kind of figure out what it. it I mean, especially I mean, you have your passion of, of fishing, of, of hunting. And it's, it's extremely hard because, again, I, I see what my kids are seeing, and I'm like, <laughs> how? How mm. the heck are, are, are these people watching this? Ryan's and Toys again, Review. And, and I see <laughs> it, Ryan's Toys Review. You know, yeah, exactly. No, I mean, they're going to be seeing somebody play a video game that they play. Like, they're literally watching the guy just play. Or, or dolls like, or whatever. <laughs> I'm, how the heck yeah. does this happen? Like, millions and you know, millions of dollars is what they're making. Crazy. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so what I'm saying is that do you watch these videos – and try and emulate that and say, you know what, I can, you know, another another outdoor, obviously. Or do you, are you completely just saying, you know what, I'm going to do it with the way I'm doing it and that's it. I mean, you have to be getting some type of, of you know, I don't know, advice or, or, or some type of tips from other videos, correct? Yeah, so there's a, a guy on uh, YouTube. He's the one that showed me how to use, you know, I, iMovie um, and how to actually edit the videos. I know Sam and I, we watch the same guy as in with the Canon M50, right? But I, I do watch a lot of, a lot of your local uh, YouTubers also from Corpus, Texas Redfish Hunter, uh, the Lost in Lindsay, he's another guy I watch. And there's also guys down here in South Texas, shout out to uh, Mesquite Outdoors, you know. <laughs> Alec. <laughs> he, he, he does a good job, Fishigan Milligan, he, Come On Rays also with Sam. All, all those guys that are down here, you know, they all, they all, they all make their own videos and they all have their own style. But the, the, the style that I like to use is, is what I like to do, as in like the intro, body conclusion, and all that, but uh, okay. but uh, yeah, I, I do take you know advice, and I do I do look at other people just to see you know what they're doing. You know what I've I mean? seen uh, Mesquite, Mesquite Outdoors. I've actually seen him after he I think he went to the shop a few times and. Oh, uh, he came to one of our yeah, rod building. Yeah, he built his own rod. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I like the way he's doing it. I like the way he, yeah. he kind of does that, and and I've told Sam a whole bunch of times just. I think I'm going to use it as an excuse to get out of the shop for a couple of days. <laughs> I like, but to, to go out and do, you know, videos, it seems cool, you know, because you have a mindset behind it and you think you're going to go it out and, and just crush it. But, I mean, what, what do you think that you, you can improve on or what do you think that you, you want to do that you haven't done or are you pretty much saying, you know what, this is where I'm at and if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. If it's not, it's not. Yes, yeah, so I like, I like the outdoors, man. I've always been... I've always gone out to Freer to hunt before. I've always gone to Alice to hunt. One of the things I want to start trying to do is going out to, you know, Corpus Christi, fish over there. Or, or I mean, after all this passage, of course, obviously. But uh, we have me and my buddies, uh, some of my coworkers, we're actually going up to, to Kansas to do a, a pheasant hunt, you know, nice. not not so September, October of next year. Hopefully this all passes by then. <laughs> Hopefully. But, uh, you know, I, I yeah. enjoy hunting. So. Yeah. Or the next one. And fishing, so that'd be. I've never shot a pheasant before. You know what I mean? I, I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, just so maybe I've always doing something a different scenery. You think might get yeah. you some more watches and more views. Yeah. I think so. Instead of instead of using the same fishing Arroyo City and all of my videos, if I do Kansas City, you know, pheasant hunt, I think that'd there be pretty go. pretty neat. Or Fruit Texas monster monster buck or something. You know what I mean? Cool deal. So 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 are you making millions on YouTube yet? 
I wish. So what happens after you, okay, so after you reach this monetization, these metrics, 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch hours, what happens at that point? Yeah, so one thing that I learned is, is when I got monetized, I was like, heck yeah, man, you know, I'm gonna make some extra tip cash, you know what I mean, on the side, you know what I mean? But um, the monetization is, is extremely slow, as in how much money you actually, you know, make. But, you know, as I said originally, that wasn't the, the overall goal, you know what I mean? But I do have uh, some side stuff, like the, the hat that Jacob, Jacob's wearing, or, or the hat that I'm working, wearing right here, you know what I mean? Yeah. And with Seven Day, seven day Addiction Media, I have some, some shirts on, on their website also yeah. on there. So that's pretty much just a way to, like, I, I figured if I could make some extra cash to buy some new reels or buy a new rod or buy some new lures, this I can put I back can into, into the channel. Yeah, go for <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like the five is working. Uh, hire, hire a photographer. <laughs> yeah, hire a, photo a videographer to be there all the time. I mean, so nice. so it really it really doesn't pay very much at, at this scale, huh? No, uh, at, at, at my size it doesn't. But you see, you see those people on there that make you know some good some 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 yeah. good revenue off of YouTube, and they're pretty they're pretty they have a lot of subscribers and a lot of. Uh, a lot of watch time hours also so all right so uh do you guys have any of the questions around youtube i'm going to take a, a kind of transition here to talk more about joaquin and kind of who he is but uh any other questions around youtube and kind of getting them out there i, I got something to say have y'all seen that video or those videos that do things in corpus or galveston that does the cash uh, catch and, and cook so he takes a stove with him <laughs> let's go and he once he finishes fishes he's cooks it i was like damn that's freaking crazy thresher <laughs> fishing <laughs> thresher fishing that guy yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think that's it yeah yeah that's pretty cool man that's so. uh that's that's some fresh fish right yeah, yeah dude i was like damn no, good so deal. um i know you obviously your your trout redfish you know that's what you're you're you know what you're normally targeting is there something you want to do other than that that you might want to you know target here in the near future or something we can kind of watch out for yeah, so um, I'm once all this clears up, I want to go back to the jetties. I've been there twice, and I've been I've been skunked twice, but I would love to catch a uh, a bull red or, or a jack out there on the on the jetty of South Padre Island on a, a spoon or a top water or something like that. So um, so yeah, once once all this opens up and clears up, I'm I'm definitely gonna be going out there. I know there's there's a girl, I believe her name is Laura. She goes out to the the jetties a lot, and she catches some jacks and some bull reds. So that'd be pretty uh pretty cool to go with or with a with yeah. another guy albert hooked up fishing he goes to the jetties as well yeah and we, we uh there's another guy uh actually i think he's uh with laurel's sister what's that guy's name jacob do you know him i think gilbert? it's Luis something gilbert. gilbert 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 yeah yeah he hooked up on, i don't know his last name but yeah i think gilbert. he's really about his, i'm not sure either way he's another guy I, and i i kind of picked his brain a little bit a couple of times at the show and you know, very, very knowledgeable when it comes to jetty fishing, for sure. That'd be awesome, man. That'd be pretty yeah. cool. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. Are you are you pretty fluent in Spanish? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I, I was gonna say Iram. Iram. Uh, go get some gar, bro. For Adam Jr. too, man. Jr. Jr. gets in there. Jr. gets in there and swims with Adam and Jr. Also has a YouTube channel. Yeah, we. Yeah, I like. What's the channel name? Team Team Curiacanes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I watched his video. That's, yeah. That'd be pretty. Yeah, that'd be pretty yeah. nice. Man. And, and plus, you're gonna have a good time with with him, man. He's just uh, oh, no, he's <laughs> like like <laughs> yeah, the, the, he's, he's a definitely <laughs> he's a cool guy. No English. No. <laughs> a little bit, he does. He just he, he, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I talked to him because I don't I don't speak very good Spanish, but I talked to him yeah, in, I, in English and I, he understands. I actually started a, uh, a a series called South Texas uh, Searching for Giant Gar, search, searching for South Texas Gar. And I have maybe three or four videos on there, but that'd be pretty cool to, to add on there. You know, and we search, searching for a giant uh, here in the, the Royal, the Colorado or the, the, the reservoir. Yeah, him, him or Jr. for sure, the guys. Yeah. Too, or Mark yeah. Belliard. Yeah, yeah, Mark too. Nine five six. Yeah. Nine five six LCD. Yeah. He has a shop. Yeah. And McAllen. Yeah, yeah. I think it's cool when when you go with somebody else that's also recording what you're recording. So that's what I like about fishing with Iran. I'm recording, he's recording, Rudy gets all the badass action. Rudy's catching all the fish. I jumped off the boat. Yeah, 
I saw that video, man. Yeah. yeah. You jumped off the board. <laughs> Yeah, he has he has a, he has a tendency of jumping off the boat like he did at Shallow Sport Tournament last year, but <laughs> jumping no, off the no, <laughs> no, 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 not not, not yeah, <laughs> but um, but yeah, so so yeah, let's uh, let's uh, actually, there's one last question here, Alec had um from Mesquite Outdoors, uh, bucket list type fish or or hunting trip for that you would do a video on. Yeah, peacock bass, man. I want to go out to Florida and catch a, a peacock bass. Uh, those, those fish are, free, are really, really pretty to look at on pictures, but I've always wanted to catch one, and they have them there, you know, in Florida, obviously. But something like that would be pretty, uh, would be pretty nice to do. Good deal, man. All right, so let's uh, let's kind of transition here and talk about talk about you. So obviously you're you're not making millions on YouTube, so uh, you have a, another you know another job that you're doing that's kind of uh, that's funding this uh, kind of you putting out these videos. So 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 what do you do? I mean, I, we see some guitars in the back uh, and in your background. Yeah, He's a Nashville country singer. <laughs> I have a, I write songs and I just get the you know the mon the monetization on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, no, I do work with law enforcement, as you can tell, the thin blue line shirt here, and uh, Have that's, you... that's what I do. I, I'm off every other weekend, so fishing and hunting for me is a is a good stress reliever. I know Jacob knows when I go out with him, it's, it's a pretty good time, and we're always laughing or doing something, and then I just add a video, a camera to it, and then do some editing, and, and there you go. But, yeah. How long have you been in law enforcement? Uh, seven years. It's been seven years, so it's, it goes by fast. But uh, that's that's what I do when I'm not fishing and hunting. And every other weekend, I'm, I'm usually off, and that's when I go out with Fern, uh, Jacob, or or, or Freddie, some of my buddies as well. So, so do your friends at work? Uh, do they know you make these videos? Do they check out your videos? Yeah, a lot of the guys, man, they're they're pretty cool. They actually buy some of these gears, or I give them some free some free stuff that they use. A lot of them actually fish and they hunt. And I've actually made a lot of videos with with those guys in there and, and they're pretty funny man it's it's weird seeing them you know super <laughs> super serious at work super you know robot and then you go out fishing with them and then they're you know they're just having a good time so, so a lot of the guys are pretty uh so, pretty, pretty so given that you're in a lot of work no he's uh, not going to get rid of the ticket <laughs> no he's asking uh, about he's gonna uh, go ahead victor i know what you're asking but <laughs> sorry uh, what i was gonna say is that jacob is not using his booster seat <laughs> 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 if he's four foot nine or or above, man, I hope he is. But if he's not, it's gonna be a. a it's close, man. It's, it's close. Nah, he's got heels, but it's <laughs> um, <laughs> And, and so, and so, um, uh, so, so, since you're in law enforcement, you may have a better th thing on this. What seems like one of the things that's uh, really breaking the internet in the valley is, is getting people to understand, um, kind of the the the. The, the regulations that are in place right now these these orders you, I mean I don't uh, yeah and, and you don't have to say anything about it but I mean I just like there's there's a lot of things going on people getting stopped pulled over people can go fishing people can't go fishing kind of what's been your experience around seeing that go, go take place yeah so 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 one thing people don't really um, know but the, you know the governor Greg Abbott he can announce a protocol or he can enact a uh, an order and that is is a law for the state but cities and counties they can enforce their own regulations or enforce enforce their own orders and it's not saying that they're going against the state but it's it's always been like that where cities can 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 have their own um their own wording or verbiage and they can depending on that city if that city has you know a thousand people that are, have been tested you know positive for for the virus they can enforce stricter guidelines as opposed to another city right down the road that doesn't have that amount of, of people that have been um, affected by it so yeah yeah so so, so and, and then specifically uh, royal city i mean there it's basically essentially shut off right it's shut down from fishing from for outsiders so, yeah so the county park has been shut down i know there's a private boat ramp down there that's open but uh the uh, the county, like I said, the judge, he, I believe he went live earlier. I, I didn't get to see it. I think he hasn't posted the actual wording or the, the proclamation on there. They can consider that essential or non-essential travel. They can, they can do um, 
specific guidelines for that specific uh, county. But as for the, the, the parks, the county parks and Fort Mansfield as well, those have been shut down. And, um, you know, those people that, that have <laughs> passed away, pass away, you know, or, or prayers are, are with them and their right. family as well. But that might, you know, cause a stricter a stricter uh, order in place. I know Hidalgo County has uh, several cities and Star County as well, well. The whole county they have where you have, if you go out in public, you got you have to wear some type of mask yeah. or something like that. So Cameron County, they can enforce that without having to have it from the governor's office. So okay. Just... just uh, Super yeah no so definitely i mean i think i think the, the message is you know just uh stay at home guys we can uh you know fishing will be out there when we when we get out there and, and i know we practice a lot of social distance i know victor's gone out a few times on by himself <coughs> and, and it's hard to imagine a world where, where we don't where at one time <laughs> uh where we don't fish yeah. right but it's still you know it's uh, we got to look at the big picture and put things in context and and like you said you know with so with some of the recent kind of updates and what's going on out there things uh i mean it is serious and it's not something that uh, should be taken lightened uh and it's something that we haven't even seen the real impact of it's still early a lot of people initially were comparing this to the flu but um the f- I mean, really, I mean, it was too early to compare it to anything, really, right? We didn't really know what it was. And the more I've learned about it, the more I realize that it's not the flu. And, I mean, we don't get we don't get locked up or get sent home from work because for the flu, right? Like, they don't shut offices down and cities down and stuff like that. So, uh, and, and, yeah, you see a big response out there. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for providing your your, 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 your thoughts on that. And, uh, and what's the story behind the guitars? Yeah, so I, I picked up a guitar back in, like, high school. I had uh, hurt my knee, tore my ACL, and I was on my, my the bed for a while, and I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to learn how to play guitar, so I learned how to play guitar on YouTube, and sure enough, I... <laughs> you can learn how to fish, I, you can I, learn how to fillet fish, like someone else yeah. said, you can learn how to... You, you can do anything you want on YouTube. Yeah, so I, I learned how to play. I, I, I attempt to sing. I'm not, like, professional or anything like that, but I know... Uh, Mr. Fabian over there, he, he has a couple of songs that I've heard him sing, and he, he sings really well. So that's what I'd like to do on my spare time out yeah, I, I, saw, I saw your your nice little one-on-one concert that you did. That's pretty good, you man. like that? Maybe. <laughs> I even turned on some candles and stuff. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, I think we, we I kind of... Did you sing at somebody's wedding? Yes. <laughs> See, well, that's... Uh, I sang, did you see? I yeah, I sang at my buddy's. Uh, I was his best man, and I sang their wedding song. Uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, I sang at my my own wedding as well. Yeah, well, you know, Did you sing he, at Jacob's wedding. I was in Brazil at that time. Uh, I was on the, uh, you didn't go to my. Wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was but, like a free fourteen day cruise Brazil. I was like, yeah, sure. And then Jacob was getting married there. So. Yeah. Well, well, I don't. I didn't. I didn't I, like that sucks. I, 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 I don't know if you knew knew this, but we have a tradition on this show. This is episode two, so we have a tradition on air, and on the guest of honor, which is you, has to sing something for us. So. Uh. Oh, you, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 he's ready. He's ready. I have to start right here, man. <laughs> uh, all right, let, let's hear it. All right, so uh, yeah, just let's let's hear something good. Wow. Now sounds yeah. That was awesome, man. That was that was on board. I think I think between you and Fabian, uh, we might have something going on, man. I think we uh, we, we we can put a little. That was awesome. So, so obviously, so, I mean, I I knew you sing, but like, and so we talked about like you singing at some of your buddies. Uh, weddings and stuff like that but I mean do you, do you do that like do you like if someone were, were to want to say hey uh, Mr. Stoic would you uh, sing at my uh, at my wedding is that something you do? Yeah 
I, I don't normally do that. It was just because, you know, he was a, a good buddy of mine. But uh, back in college, I actually, I was in a little band, and that's how we actually made it, made uh, some money on the side. We would play at a wing bar in there in Brownsville. And nice. We would do a little little bars that everyone would drink and we'd sound better because they're drunk you know <laughs> we play from 1 30 to 2 p.m 1 30 to 2 a.m yeah, <laughs> I, I paid at a uh, winks back in the day i paid at a uh, hillbillies uh what was a bar, bar there in hardington that, that got shut down a while back wild bills i played there a couple times hey so yeah, you've been uh you, you kind of have an interesting story man guitar is kind of yeah. running around fishing and just uh law enforcement so yeah it's a uh, uh, it's definitely a, a lot on your plate right now, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, my mind's always going, man. So I gotta, I gotta feed the addiction somehow, right? Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> well, well, definitely appreciate you coming out here, coming out, taking some time here. Uh, obviously, you have, I'm sure you have videos you got to edit and kind of do things like that. But um, uh, you know, yeah. just just kind of one last thing here. You know, if someone who's looking to create, start a YouTube channel, or kind of just getting started, you know, what are some tips that you would give to them to to kind of get them moving in the right direction yeah so if you want to you know get into it i always said you know do it you know if you have an idea always act upon it you know don't just let this let it go without actually trying to to do something if you, if you do it and you don't like it you don't enjoy it then hey that's that's fine that's uh, your decision but uh yeah everyone has a phone that's another uh, tip i'm gonna say let's picture my dog right there but everyone has a phone to record Everyone has the uh, the ability to record it and to edit it just on their phone. So, good deal, man. So I think my connection was lost. Yeah, so and I can still hear you, but yeah, just get out there and uh, and start recording, and yeah, okay. we we can hear you. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. So now, what the, again? Okay. Uh, most importantly, man, thank you so much for what you do, man. I know we out there, we in law enforcement. That's something Sam and I and, and all the seven day crew, you know, takes a big, big, you know, deal. It's a big deal to us, you know, law enforcement, military, you know, first responders. And uh, you guys are out there right now. We, a lot of people aren't, man. So appreciate what you're doing. Yes, yeah, sir. And I want to say uh, thank you for all the medical professionals that are, that are out there, man. Go, my mom, you know, she's an RN. She goes to work, and she, you know, I'm scared for her. I'm trying to keep my distance from her because I don't want anything, you know. But uh, man, to those RNs and those nurses and those physical therapists that are still going to work out there, and you know, I appreciate yeah. what you guys do as well. And, well, yeah, just on that, right? I mean, so you go out, they go out to their work, and just what you just described, right? So they're going out to work, and you may be like, well, yeah, they're working, right? But, you know, when they when they get home, they don't live normal lives right now. They don't get to see their kids. They don't get to spend time with their family. They have to be in quarantine themselves, right? So you look at it, what they're doing there, but it's also the sacrifices they're, they're making outside of that under personal life. And, I mean, I've seen pictures and videos online here recently where, you know, people can't, you know, they're, 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 their wives and their kids are behind a window or a door and they're seeing them through that right because they physically can't get there because of what the what where they're at and what they're exposed to but um but yeah no it's definitely a good point and definitely someone that we should be thankful for so yeah, um, I, I think i saw somebody post, uh, you know nurses and you know these these medical people should get all their loans wiped out you know the student <laughs> loans and stuff and i think that's the perfect thing to do uh, with these people right now man so. I mean, at least get like a separate shopping time i know in kingsville that they did it man they, they did an hour before where medical professionals can go and go in uh, and get their groceries before everyone else does i think that'd be you something know, man it, something has to be done to show appreciation to these guys girls yeah that's crazy yep, so. yeah so all right, guys. Thanks again. Uh, we have another show on on Wednesday where we're talking to actually another musician. So, <laughs> so maybe we'll, we'll maybe we'll get something too. So some of you guys may know uh, Sons of Texas. They're they're a band that out of out of the valley, um, and uh, and actually one of their guys is uh, is part of the Seven Day Addiction, kind of tied in a roundabout kind of way. Um, but Jess De Oil is from Seven Day Addiction. He's going to be on our show. We're going to be talking to him and. Uh, and talk about him about kind of what he what he enjoys about fishing as well as kind of tie that into kind of the life of a uh, of a rock star <laughs> so uh but yeah so tune in for that that's coming on wednesday and um uh, and again thanks again guys for staying tuned and watching us and uh hopefully this was fun hopefully you guys enjoyed it let us know in the comments below and um we'll see you guys in a few days so all right guys all right see you guys cheers uh and hold on give me a second this thing is kind of locked up on me here uh there we go